What do you mean this house isn't for sale? It's listed on Zillow. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. So I work with a lot of buyers and throughout the home buying process in the initial stages as we're still shopping for a home, there's a lot of communication back and forth about properties, properties that I'm pulling in my system that I think they might like, things that they're seeing online that they're asking me about, and there's a lot of back and forth. I've been noticing a trend lately in the homes that my clients are finding online that they're sending me the listings for. What's happening is they're finding homes on a popular search website out there, Zillow, I'm sure you've heard of it. And they look at the house, it's got some pictures, it's got some information about the house, so they assume it's for sale and they send the link over to me. So what ends up happening is I open up a link and I look over all the information and I have to deliver the bad news to them that unfortunately the property is not actually for sale. You see, not every house listed on Zillow is for sale. You have to look for how it's labeled. You see the homes my buyers are sending me that aren't actually for sale or all labeled as pre-foreclosure. And the reality is pre-foreclosure homes do not mean they are actually up for sale. Even Zillow's website themselves state that pre-foreclosure homes are not necessarily for sale. Let me explain a little bit about what pre-foreclosure means because it might help everybody understand. When a property gets labeled as a pre-foreclosure, it means that it's in the very early stages of possibly being repossessed by the bank. It means that the homeowner is behind on their mortgage payments, at least three months, could be more, and this is a public notice of default filed by the lender. This is a public notice to the owner that legal action will be taken by the lender if the homeowner does not bring the loan back to current, or at least work out some sort of an arrangement with them. The reason that pre-foreclosures are not actually up for sale is because it doesn't necessarily mean that anybody is selling the house. If the homeowner is not trying to sell it, it's not for sale and the bank has not taken ownership of the property. So they certainly haven't listed it for sale either. And honestly, at this point, the homeowner may choose to bring the loan current, which means the property will never be for sale. The homeowners themselves can also delay the foreclosure process by trying to work something out with the lender. So for example, one of the common things a homeowner might do is call their lender and see if they offer something called a loan modification. Um, that's going to be a reevaluation of the loan and the terms and things like that to help lower their payment. And while the lender is going through the loan modification process, they're not going to be moving forward on any sort of a foreclosure. So certainly if the homeowner either brings it current or works out a successful loan modification, then the home may never be for sale. So you're probably asking yourself, well, why would Zillow even list these things as pre-foreclosure? That's really confusing. And there's a few reasons they probably do it. This is just a guess on my part. Um, they're probably listing them, number one, because it's public information. Anytime there's a you know notice, public notice um, of default on a property, it's public knowledge, and they have the right to report that out to all of you. The other thing is, for a lot of investors, this could be an opportunity for them to reach out to the homeowners directly, if that's their business model, and just see if selling is an option for them or something that they might want to entertain. So if you have a way to sort of track down the homeowner's information and things like that, um, some investors do use this as a way to find off-market properties. If the homeowner, you know, has this letter of default, but they're not necessarily in neck negative equity, but they can't bring the loan current and they don't want to be foreclosed upon because that could really hurt their credit, they might be willing to work something out direct with a buyer. So that could be another reason why Zillow is putting that information out there or how you might be able to use it, you know, to your advantage as a buyer. You know, I also do want to point out something um, that does confuse a lot of my buyers out there. And if it confuses them, it might confuse you, is that sometimes when you're looking at these homes and you don't notice that it says pre-foreclosure on it, um, but you happen to look through and see that there's interior photos and there's a wonderful description about the house, some sort of a sales description describing the house. And it's got a ton of facts about the house. You know, it's very deceiving. And without noticing that it says pre-foreclosure, it could look like a full listing. And I wanted to address why that might be. So if you're looking at a listing and it has all of that that I had just mentioned, one of the reasons it might have it is because the house might have actually been up for sale recently or at least in the last few years. See, Zillow will keep that information, you know, from a past listing or the interior photos or things like that unless somebody goes in or the homeowner goes in and actually deletes them out. Zillow will hang on to that information. I just had this with a client the other day. They sent me a property and the photos were beautiful. They were professional. The description, it was great, but it was all from when the house was listed about five years ago. So still, it's not an active listing just because it has that information. You really want to look for that pre-foreclosure label to know whether or not it's available. 
So here's my advice for all the home buyers out there. If you're currently searching for a home, my first piece of advice is to focus on what's actually available. Just because a house is listed in pre-foreclosure doesn't mean it's ever gonna go up for sale. And if it does, the foreclosure process is a very long, lengthy process. The bank has to then take ownership of it. Then they have to go through their own internal departments and send it to an asset company before it even goes for sale. So something could be listed in pre-foreclosure now, and it may not actually be for sale for a year, two years, three years, if at all. So if you wanna move now, you really wanna focus on what's available. So talk to your agent and look at what the properties are currently available on the market today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. And if you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. I'll see you next week.